In embedded systems, we don't do hello world. We actually blink an LED. So we're pretty happy when we get a LED blinking. So we want to find the manual. So we look up our processor, the 429, disk one, manual. Oh, spelled it wrong. Still got it. Here it is. So we're gonna take a look at the manual, which I have here. And what we wanna look at is we wanna look at the LEDs and specifically, we're gonna blink LED three, which is the green LED. Um, and I know that this is defined on, I think it's page 17. Um, here we go, LEDs. So we'll see here that LED three is GP13. Okay, so that's connected to GP13 on our processor, which is right there. Wonderful, green LED. It's already programmed for us. It's already defined uh, in the infrastructure that we've created previously. So uh, we should be good to go now. So um, to write to the pin, we have this function. I'll show you that a little bit later where, where I found the function, but basically it's LED3. There's the definition of the pin. Comes from the infrastructure. This is set. That's uh, set, I think it's one, and reset, of course, is zero. And that'll turn the LED on and off. So we're going to just generate the code one more time. Just to make sure we have a clean build. And I can show enter all the code for the blinking light. We'll open it up. Now, if you hit that open project and it doesn't open up your workbench, more than likely something went wrong in the install and I would just reinstall the workbench. That's happened to me once um, on Windows. Didn't happen on, uh, on Mac. Okay, so here's our main. Right above here, we can see here's all the initialization functions. And then here's our while loop. We have no operating system, so we're just gonna have a while loop. I'm gonna go into GPIO init. I'm gonna steal the code. This is where I'm gonna find the code about how to set a pin. Oh, there's an example right there. They turned off pin three and four. So uh, we're gonna steal that command. And then we just have to make this so that it says set because initialization is gonna reset it to let LED be off. So what, what first one with First thing we want to do is turn it on. And then you know, I think we'll make a copy of this again so that we can turn it off. Uh, we're just calling the, the host process because if we actually run this in real time, we want to be able to see like a dim light, not see it like either uh, all the way on or all the way off. Uh, so we want to be able to have a little bit of time between the two of them. But right now we're just going to debug uh, get ourselves started in a debugging session. It knows it needs to rebuild the main, so it'll do that rebuild. And uh, since I regenerated all the code, it's going to rebuild everything. This will take a moment. Okay, so it's complete building. It's going to start the debugger session up. There's our main, and it halted at the first function. So now we should be able to step through, okay? As we step through all this initialization code, we're gonna to get to the point where we're in the while loop. Okay, here we are. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn it on. So we see the LED turn on, and then we'll turn it off. And turn it on again and then turn it off again. So there you see, we, we've proven our little blinky light works. So we should be usually pretty excited to get to this point because this means the processor is up and running and all that. As always, please subscribe below and follow the links because it helps me make these videos. I appreciate it.
Thank you.